All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to be making a simple sci-fi environment. Let me show you what it looks like, and then we'll get into it. So this is it right here. We're making these interesting gooey looking pillars. We're going to be using this character right here as well as this is what the actual environment looks like. If you run a camera through it, you can actually get this project file right here in the description. You can buy that. And yeah, so let's get into making this. All right. So first we're going to be modeling those pillars. So shift a and let's go ahead and add in a curve and we're just going to use a path. We're going to hit R Y 90 to flip them up. And then let's just take this guy and we're going to hit tab, bring it out like this, take this in here, bring it out like that. Let's go add the, the screw modifier, change it to X, and then we'll click this middle one and bring it right here. So we're basically modeling the shape of the pillars, just the general shape that they're going to exist at. So this right here. Now, now let's go to edit, operator search, and type in convert. Click convert to and convert it to a mesh. So now if we hit tab, we have these little square faces. Now let's go ahead, first off, right click and shade flat so we can see all this stuff and let's add the decimate modifier to it. And let's slide it all the way over till we get, um, I think that looks, right here looks pretty good and apply it. So now that we have, we go into edit mode, you can see these new low poly flat vertices. So Let's go over here to inset faces right here and just click and you'll see it move around. Let's go back here and you can see it move around like this. Just barely move it it's right about there. And then when this little dialog box pops up, click individual and then on thickness, play with it. So I'm going to do right, right about here and now hit E to extrude and extrude them inward just like that. So now we have this here and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a subdivision surface click our viewport and then right click and shade smooth and now we have those weird gooey things that some people are scared of um, so so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this guy up to the surface here just right here on a flat plane let's go ahead and actually add a plane plane we're gonna hit s8 scale him up so now we're gonna put everything within this box here to design our scene so I'm gonna scale him down a little bit and just right about there looks pretty good and then I'm going to take this, shift D, duplicate, and bring them all the way to the top of our goo. So now we have this. So now to design it, I'm going to hit H to hide him. And so I'm going to bring him right here. And all you have to do is shift D and just move these guys around in an order that you like. All right, so now I have all my pillars placed around. And I'm going to get my plane and put them back. So now we can start lighting this scene here. So I'm going to be using Eevee for this because the cycles render just takes years here on my laptop. Um, so here on the world setting, I'm going to bump this color down all the way to black and let's go ahead and get our first light, which is a point light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him over here. and bring his brightness up to, I'm going to say 500 and then bring our color down to an orange. So first off, let's go ahead and start shading our scene, let's duplicate him and bring him all the way over here and change his color to the standard teal. So now that we have our lighting, let's start shading the guy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit H, H to hide that and just start shading this guy right here. And we're just gonna use a standard, very lightly rough and very dark shader for this. If we actually go to the modifier, let's just go and preview how he'll look when he's shaded. So let's make him a little bit more rough, but I have the roughness down pretty far down. So I'm gonna say right about right about there. Looks pretty good, but you can do however you want. And then you hit A, Control L, materials. They all now have the same material attached to them. Let's get those planes back up. And let's add a new, and let's go to the shading. We're gonna just add a little bit of bumping going on here. So let's go to rendered here. So let's make this completely roughless. If that's a word, completely glossy, I guess is the correct way to say that. Now let's add a bump node. Bump here, plug into the normal. Let's get a noise, noise texture. Bring the color here right onto the height. And now we have this. Let's bring the detail all the way down. So now let's just bring up that scale and then bring the detail all the way down to zero and then bring that scale back up. 
So now we have a weird ceiling and then I'm just gonna hit shift. So I'm gonna hit this bottom one and hit shift and click the top. Control L, materials. Now that same materials here on the bottom and I'm gonna bring that scale up some more actually and then bring the strength down a little bit. So now we have this weird floor that I actually need to make darker. Um, so let's go ahead and make this quite a bit darker. Now we're starting to get what we're looking for here on this design. Yeah, so now we're getting in the ballpark of what we're trying to shoot for and we can play with the lighting. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do here for this scene is add some volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the mesh cube and hit S8 and then I'm gonna just go to the rendered, I mean the wireframe view and just squish him down just like this so he kind of fits the scene just for organization really. It doesn't really matter with this particular volume how big it is. We, we don't even need to apply scale because we're just gonna add the very basic volume. So let's go back to shading, go back in here, make sure your box is selected, delete the principle here in the, the shading tab and add a principled volume right here bring the volume to the volume, everything disappears. So you give it a density of 0.01 for now and we'll see how that looks. So now you can see we get some pretty nice volume. So as we're playing with that, let's go ahead and actually add our camera to the scene. If this is annoying, actually viewing this box on top of everything, what you can do is go to the uh, transform settings right here on viewport display, display as wire, and then now you can navigate your scene and that box isn't in your way in terms of viewing and designing. So let's go ahead and get our camera, shift A, camera, bring him in to right about there. And I'm gonna bring him pretty low. So I think right here looks pretty good. Let's go and hit Z. Now we're starting to get some cool stuff. I'm gonna bring my camera. I'm gonna keep it at 50 millimeter actually, that looks really good. So now that we're working with this, let's see, get our camera and position him right about here let's go back to our lights and up that brightness especially on the blue one so let's go to the blue one here give it a thousand a thousand on the brightness and then on this the shading on this black portion he's not dark enough you can still see the grayness of the the object I don't like that okay cool so now we have our environment here. Let's bring this blue guy in some by hitting G. Just scoot him in a little bit. So now we have our scene here. We have some volume, we have some stuff, but pretty empty. All we have is these pillars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called instancing. So I'm gonna hide my camera here and I'm gonna hit B, box select everything, and I'm gonna hit M, new collection. I'm just gonna call it whatever. Right there. So now all I have to do is shift A, go to in collection instance. I'm going to hold down control so that everything snaps together perfectly. And then you can just instance your scene however large you would like it to be. I'm going to select these two guys and I'm going to duplicate them. So just go ahead and scale up your scene however big you would like it to be and then you can move from there. Alright, so now when we hit render we have this crazy scene. And my first thought here is my volume needs to be much more. So you can just click on the cube, go back to the shading here, and your computer's probably going to run pretty slow if you have a laptop like me. But it's EV, so you should be able to handle it. Just be careful. So 0 0.03. Now we have some nice volume here. So all we have left to do here really is add in our character. So for a character, we're just going to go to Mixamo. It's a really, really cool website. I'll link it in the description so you don't have to actually type that in, but mixamo.com. It's run by Adobe, but you do not need to pay for it. You do not need an Adobe, an official Adobe account to use it. Just make a, just a whatever account. It's totally free. So I'm going to go in and pick a character. So I'm going to go and pick this guy, use the character, and we'll jump over here to animations. All right, so now we're in animations. I'm just going to type in stand. So right here, idle. Pick this guy right here. This is all I need. I'm going to click download. And all the default stuff is pretty good, FBX and download. And so once you download them, let's head back to Blender. All right, so to add him into your scene, you go to File, Import, FBX, and go find him. He's right there. So now that he's in your scene, if you, hit, if you see him in just the regular T pose here, if you hit Tab, that should fix him. All right, so to actually move him around, you need to find what's called armature. Now you have the armature, and then just rotate him here, just like that. And we'll go back. 
and hit Z rendered and he's in your scene just for composition here what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add what's called an empty so a shift a add an empty plane axis because I'm gonna add some depth of field here in my scene and I want this to be the spot where the camera focuses to so I'm just gonna bring it over right there in the middle and then also for the camera here I just wanna fix him real quick just rotate him up just like that and then let's go to the camera settings here and go click on depth of field and click on empty so now if we click rendered bring your f-stop all the way down to 0.1 and you should get some really cool stuff boom 0.1 that's too much I'm gonna give it maybe 0.5 alright 0.5 looks really really cool and there you go that is the scene so there you go that's made there just to show you how to render it if you are an EV nothing really needs to be touched you just go to render render image and there you go so there you go that's how you make that EV environment you can go download that project file where it animates there in the description if you want to go check that out and thanks for watching